So I like to start by priming my face with my Eve Pearl Priming Moisturizing Treatment. And I just use this first because it does fill in the pores and it's also moisturizing and I have dry skin. Next I'm using my NYX Angel Veil Primer and I do use two primers because I have a lot of texture on my skin. So I like to use as many primers as possible to try and smooth it out. For my foundation I'm using my Eve Pearl Foundation and just dotting it all over my face and then buffing it in with my Real Techniques Buffing Brush. For concealing and brightening my under eye circles, I'm using this Eve Pearl HT Concealer Pen in the shade Fair. And I'm using this under my eyes and also around my mouth because I have a lot of green, greeny blue tint to that part of my skin and this just helps brighten and cover that up. To set my face, I'm using this Laura Mercier highlighter and I'm using this in the same way you would use an hourglass ambient lighting powder and just using this Sigma brush to dust it all over my face. Just a very light dusting and I do find it gives me a glowy look to the skin. And then to mattify some areas, I use the Laura Mercier setting powder um, just underneath my eyes and also around my mouth and I just really press this in with the puff that it comes with. And this just takes away the under eye bags. And I also use this on my mouth because powdering your mouth before you use a lipstick can help reduce feathering. For my highlighters, I used my two Becca Cosmetics highlighters in the shade Opal and Moonstone, mixed them together using this Eve Pearl fan brush, and then just dusted this on my cheeks, my forehead, nose, chin, and Cupid's bow. For my blush and my contour, I'm using this awesome palette that I received from Lunatuck Cosmetics Labs. And I'm just mixing three shades together for my blush. And then I'm taking this really dense tart brush and using these two darker cool tone shades. And also mixing a little bit of a lighter brown in with them just to help blend them out and I'm just contouring with this. For my brows, I'm using my new favorite combination. So this is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. And this is their um, eyebrow brush. And it's a very um, dense, synthetic, angled brush. And I just like to pinch it together so that it's nice and thin. And then I dip it in the dip brow and then draw a straight line on the bottom of my brows. And then flick the dip brow up into my brows to blend it in. To prime my eyes for eyeshadow, I'm using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot on my finger, all over the eyelid, and also underneath. On a flat shader brush, I'm just taking a matte um, creamy white shade and just using this on my brow bone, and it's going to help me blend out the other eyeshadows that I'm going to use. So then I'm taking Plum Smokes from Anastasia Beverly Hills in my crease and also underneath the eye with a pencil brush. And to help blend that out, I'm just using that same matte bright color on my flat shader brush and just blending out the edges. Next, I used the shade Not Today on that same pencil brush and focused it on the outer corner and then dragged it through my crease. I did a very soft cut crease look. And then I kind of felt like I lost a little bit of the purple, so I used Wisteria from Makeup Geek and also Fig One by MAC, just on this very small blending brush and put a little bit of that through the crease. I did have a little bit of fallout, so I just took this nice fluffy brush and brushed it all away. If you've set your under eyes well, the fallout will just brush away and not blend in. Then I'm using Corrupt from Makeup Geek and I'm focusing this on my outer corner. Then using Corrupt again, but on an angled brush this time, I took this through my crease and then I used that brush to flick it up and then blend it in with the purple. 
I wanted that lid shape to be a little bit more defined so I took soft ochre paint pot on a very flat concealer brush and just help that to sharpen up that line. On top of where I put the paint pot, I used Anastasia Macaroon on my finger, and then I used MAC Floof Eyeshadow, which is just sort of a silvery um, pink color. I would say that it's exactly like MAC Nylon, except the pink version. And I took this right along that line, just so that there would be a nice stark contrast between the black and that floof color. I wanted my eyes super smoky, so I took this long comb pencil on my waterline. And then for my top liner, I did a wing using this um, Stila liner pen, and this is definitely one of my new favorites. I've never tried it before, and I'm sure it's a lot of people's favorites because it's super black and you can get a very precise wing. If you guys are just doing this look for a normal day and not for New Year's Eve, you can probably skip the glitter. Um, but I am using Lit Cosmetics Share Glitter, and I just dipped my brush into the Lit Cosmetics Glitter Glue, dipped it into the glitter, and then patted it on my eye. And this can also help sharpen up the line between the crease, the cut crease, and the lid if you take it right along the edge. I'm going on a bit of a lash detox. I've been wearing like three pairs stacked together lately. But today I'm just using one, and these are the Black Magic Lashes in the style Vamp. On my lips, I'm using this Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Vintage. It's definitely one of my new favorites because it's a wearable purple. And I often think that most purples that companies make are very blue purples, they're trying to be very bold. But this one's more wearable because the undertone is a pink. I just went ahead and covered up all the lash glue with the Stila liner pen just to make sure that the liner was nice and dark. So I went ahead and intensified my highlight using the Kat Von D Metal Crush eyeshadow in the shade Thunderstruck on my Anastasia brush, on my cheekbones, forehead, nose, everywhere. And this is the completed look guys. I hope you have an awesome New Year's. Definitely check me out on Instagram if you haven't already and I hope you guys have a great night.